Hi everyone, today I wanna to talk about something that I'm absolutely shocked that more business owners don't do. And when you do this, it immediately boosts your local SEO really fast. And so what I'm talking about is, I'm gonna share my screen so you can check it out. Basically, what I wanna talk about is local ranking. So I'll put the link below so you can generate your own grid for free and I've got videos on how to do this. But basically, I'm gonna, I looked at this hardware store. So this is a really nice hardware store, Sullivan Hardware and Garden, they're in Indianapolis. And I looked at their Google business profile and I wanted to see how they rank for different things that are core to what they do for their business. So if you check it out here, you can see great, they rank number one for hardware store near me. That makes sense because they're a hardware store, but they also offer a bunch of different things. So if you check this out, they sell grills and they actually sell tons of grills. It's the main banner on their website. Um, they also offer artificial Christmas trees. So they have like a Christmas tree shop inside of it. They're a garden center. They're also a paint store. So this store is a local business that's obviously great um, and has done really well. But when I went to check their search results, as I went down through this, I noticed that they did not rank very well for other things that they do. So if you check this out and see this report, what this report means is they don't even really rank on Google. This is only a mile from their store for paint store, but we know because we just saw on their website that they offer paint. And if you look at this, uh, these other sections too, so if you look at grill store, we know that's a huge deal for them. If you're standing in their store, so that's where their store is located, and you search for a grill store, they are number four when you're standing in their store and searching for that. So that's a problem. And I can tell you exactly why that's the case and show you a couple differences here. So when I go back to the hardware store, the store thing. The reason I like these bright local reports is you can see you not only your primary business category, but also the additional categories you've added to your Google business profile. So what that means is when you go into your Google business profile and you edit profile, you can go over here to your business category. And often business owners don't even put a category or if they do, they just put one and that's their primary category. But you can click right here on add another category and tell Google the other aspects of your business for things you sell, services that you offer, um, types of menu items, even potentially uh, types of restaurant that you are. And too many businesses fail to actually add those additional categories. And when you don't do that, Google doesn't understand that they should categorize and rank your business in those ways. So let me jump right back over here to the report. You can see for Sullivan Hardware and Garden, they are, their primary category is hardware store, and then they have a few other things listed. So that's good. And many of the businesses here do have that. Let me show you Lowe's. See how the big box store actually has people dedicated to this and make sure that they list every single thing they want Google to have them categorize as everything from rug store, hardware store, grill store, furniture store, because they sell outdoor furniture and patio equipment. And that helps them rank for all of those additional categories, right? So what's happening here is this store is only added three and they don't have full representation of all of the different categories that they have. Those are called your additional categories. So when I look through this and say, okay, they're a grill store, patio store, uh, uh, Christmas tree store, yet I go and check their rankings for those things, you can see that, well, great, they rank for hardware store, but we know that they sell paint we know that they offer Christmas trees and, and I'm sure Christmas decorations and ornaments with that. We know that they sell grills and that's a big part of their business. And yet they don't rank for any of those. Now, the additional categories aren't going to, to explode your SEO over uh, immediately or overnight. There are, in fact, there are other things that you need to do on your website to help you show up for those additional categories too. But just by having the additional category and this business doesn't have the right type of landing page on here that they would need to help boost this this result however if you check this out see they do actually have garden center listed as an additional category for their business so that's great and when they do that and the and the reason behind that now you can see at least they're number one in their store and they're they're at least ranking so google at least understands we know that because in the top 10 results here at least understands in this mile vicinity around their store that even though they don't rank very well because they didn't do the right things on their website with the right types of landing pages and title tags and those types of things even still just by adding the category at least they're in the conversation and you can see that for all of these other aspects of their business where they don't have the category at all 
they are not even in the conversation. They're number four in their store and a mile in any direction, they don't even rank. They're 21 plus. That means they're not even ranking anywhere in their town for grill store. When we know, because it's right here on the homepage, that they're a big grill dealer. It says largest dealer, big, big green egg. And they've got this whole catalog list of, of all the different grills they have. But because they missed this step, it did not list in the additional categories that they're a grill store. Google does not have them cataloged for that service or product. So for your small business, you need to make sure to go into your Google business profile, search your business name, city, state, make sure you're logged in with the Gmail account associated with your profile, go to edit your profile, go to your business categories and go through and add this. So all those things are there. So if I look grill store is there, that could be added. We know they sell Christmas stuff. Christmas store should be added. Um, and then the other one that I had here that we looked them up, last one, paint store. I, there's definitely paint store. So they should go in here and add paint store, right? And there's probably a, a bunch of other categories. Make sure you categorize your business so that Google understands everything you do, everything you sell, everything you offer, so that you have a better chance of coming up for this. Now, again, Check out my other videos to talk more about the SEO best practices on the website. But at the very least, make sure you're in the conversation for all the things that you sell by adding those additional categories to your Google business profile.